Hi everybody and welcome back to another app review from This Is Mark Space. Today I'm going to be talking about floating icons. Floating icons are apps that are launched on the App Store that allow you to multitask. Say for example you're in and you're watching a movie or if you're watching a video or if you are watching something on the internet or doing something in general. Floating apps allow you to do multiple different things. For example you're on a call at the moment and you've got to take a note of something. Floating stickies are pretty good. Floating stickies allow you to take notes. You can tap that up here and you can take a wee note of the conversation that you're talking about today. You can shrink it down. You can stick it to the side. And as you can see here, there's a tiny pencil that floats at the side here. If you take that out, you can have this note here. You could have another note. You could have another note just by clicking on the plus. The plus, you can enlarge the notes, shrink the notes, you can stick it to the side. And you can still use your phone with the notes. The notes become a wee bit translucent so you can still see through them. You can tap on them and you can take another note. You can exit out you can stick the notes to the side and they will save for later. And if you need them back or move the pencil around you can stick them to any part of your screen and they will become a wee pencil at the side. And that is floating stickies. Floating stickies are quite good. You can copy, paste and you can share via all the normal ways to share that you have on your phone. Another floating app that you've got there is the air calc. So say for example you're in the middle of doing something like you're on the internet at the moment air calc will sit on top of anything that you're doing so that you can do your calculations and it's pretty translucent as well so you can see through that close that down bring it back up and that can be on there while you are doing calculations you can take notes at the same time. There's many different things. That, oops, calling the mother-in-law. Two seconds. Many different things between air calc and floating stickies that you can use. This that I'm using here is called Widget Zoid. I've got another video demonstration about that as well. I've got another one called Floating Browser. And the floating browser is pretty good. So you're in the middle of doing something, you can bring up another floating browser. And this is multitasking. So as you can see here, it's this box here. Let me go back to your home, my home screen. So there we go. This is me back at my home screen. And I've got a floating browser here that you can minimize. You can still zoom in and zoom out of Google and do everything that you normally do. As you can see, it's running a flash player for Google at the moment for Halloween. It's got many different options on it, like shrink, enlarge, close. You have to buy the paid version to do many different things, like go into settings and do bookmarks. You can capture screens as well. Many different things that you can do on here. Say for example, another good app is the maps itself. Pop-up maps. So there we go, we've got Google running in the background. And at the moment, I'm loading up a map as well. So again, I'm in the middle of an icon or an application and I'm having a discussion with my friends or family. Or they say, oh, have you seen this? Whereabouts do we get this? Well, the floating, the pop-up maps that's on the Play Store is pretty sweet. It uses Google Maps. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. You can get everything that you want. You can have more than one maps as well. You can hide maps. You can go to full screen. Many different options up here. My browser is a wee bit slow at the moment. But there we go. I'm on a map right now. I don't know if you can make heads or tails of that because of the camera on this thing. See if I can zoom in. So there we go. Make it a wee bit bigger. So you can zoom right in onto the streets as well. Come back out and you can also close it down. So multitasking. Say for the example, you need to take a, a quick picture of somebody or something and you can't be bothered getting your camera out. You're in an application. There's one here called Miniature Camera Light. As you can see here at the bottom, it's a mini camera. I'll put my hand under the table here. You're able to see that. 
So there we go, you can see my hand moving about on that camera. So if I, you click the middle of this camera here and it'll take a picture. So if I angle this and there's a pen, you can take a wee picture of the pen. So there we go. To view it, you just flick your finger down and it'll take you into your gallery. I've still got my floating stuff up here. Let me get rid of my floating stuff. So there we go. There's the picture of the pen. The camera still stays up here at the corner. Scrolling left on the camera zooms in. Oops. Scrolling right on the camera zooms out. You have to pay the, pay the full version if you want the camera to be a wee bit bigger. But that's just a miniature camera. So it allows you to multitask. of taking pictures of anything with a tiny camera at the corner while allowing you to multitask. So there we go, we've covered camera, we've covered notepad, we've covered the internet, and also we've covered the floating stickies and air calc. So there's many different applications. It's on the marketplace, and I'll leave links underneath. Click on the links, and it'll take you to the, the marketplace itself. So this camera, you click on it, you can go up to many different options here. And if you click and hold, you can actually move it about the screen as well to a place oops, that you would prefer to have the camera. So if you want the camera in the middle of the screen, or down at the bottom, or up at the top, the choice is yours. So there you go, miniature camera for easy purpose and easy use, multitasking. Well, again, thank you very much for giving us a week your time today, and have a nice day. And thank you very much for joining. This is Mark Space.